Erwin twisting and turning. And still going, Lee Erwin! Good save, but there's McDonald! The breakthrough for Motherwell. And is the great escape still on? Erwin made it. Look at the run to get past Pascali. Klingen couldn't bring him down. The shot initially was very well saved by Craig Sampson, but he could only palm it out. And who was the man most alert to fire in the rebound? Scott McDonald with his fifth goal since signing in January. Motherwell have found form at Fir Park at the right time there. Five games unbeaten here. And that's some great play by Stevie Hamill to win the ball. And now release Lee Irwin. He faces Ashcroft. Still Irwin. He's worked the space and he's found the finish. Motherwell have a second. And it's Lee Irwin, the 21-year-old. Well, Stevie Hamill with an excellent tackle. And then the ball down the line. And Irwin did the rest. That is a fine finish. He had it all to do. Bullied Ashcroft a little. Then turned away from the defender. And the shot on the angle. Low past Sampson. Motherwell have a 2-0 lead. And they are closing the gap on Kilmarnock. Kearney with the corner. It's being attacked by Miller. Obadai now, return with interest. Kearney, Miller's at the back post, chance for Kilmarnock. And they've got one back now. And it looks like McGuinness who got the final touch. Well, once more, Motherwell not dealing with the set play. Miller headed it across, and it certainly was Josh McGuinness who got the final touch. There were three of them after it. But it's a Northern Irishman who has got his seventh goal of the season. And that could be crucial as Kilmarnock go in search of the point that would confirm their safety. If the scoreline stays the same, St Mirren will be officially relegated. This looks dangerous. This is Ainsworth to finish it! Fur Park goes delirious. They believe that this is on. They believe that they can remain in the Scottish Premiership. Lionel Ainsworth has scored the third, and in doing so, he has dragged Kilmarnock into this relegation fight. Taken short to Christie. Tanzi now. Oferi! What a header! And what a signing this man has been. It's his sixth goal, but five in his last six games. Lyon knocks the ball up the line, but Balatoni can easily clear. Five points separate these two in seventh and eighth. Aki's with the advantage. Doolan now on to O'Donnell. More than willing to eat up the ground and get forward down the right-hand side. O'Donnell knocks it into Doolan. Higginbotham now. Back to O'Donnell. Higginbotham again. Oh, O'Donnell's peeled off his man, and the shot goes through the bodies. And it's Partick Thistle who lead in Hamilton. Higginbotham, the man with the setup. O'Donnell with the finish. That's five for the right back this season. Crawford. Oh, it's Doherty at the back post. And the 18-year-old has the equaliser. He's only been on the park for five minutes. It's an important game for these two. Fourth place could become a European spot should Inverness Caledonian Thistle win the Scottish Cup. Erskine. Oh, well, there's Muirhead, so oh, it's at the crossbar, but coming in is John Rankin. And it's Dundee United who make the breakthrough midway through the second half. Muirhead 
denied by the crossbar, but there was John Rankin to follow up. Miller, way by Dillon, only as far as Scobie. Swanson now, Murray Davidson guides the ball into the corner of the net. Dundee United were only ahead for nine minutes. Murray Davidson with a composed finish. It's 1-1. What a chance it is for Martin Woods. Oh, it's a fantastic penalty. Ross County lead after half an hour. High into the roof of the net. No chance for Ridgers. <laughs> Kelly forward. Thompson does well to win the header. Alan Gow tees it up for Mallon. Oh, it takes a big deflection and loops over Mark Brown. St Mirren level just eight minutes after going behind. A large slice of luck, though, for Stevie Mallon. Thompson sends Cernas the wrong way. They may have been relegated this weekend, but Thompson has picked up all three points. McGinn looking to get past Fisher once more, and he has done. Away by Van Dyke. It's Robson. Fine challenge by Captain Scott Brown. And now he's looking to break. It's Griffiths. Brown has continued his run. And the ball comes out to Armstrong. Armstrong weaving his way to the byline. And Scott Brown turns it home from one end of the pitch to the other. What an effort by Scott Brown. He won the ball on the edge of his own area. An immaculately timed challenge. And then he's the man driving forward through the centre of the Aberdeen defence. Credit due to Stuart Armstrong, who took Logan and Taylor out of the game. He fired it across, and there was Scott Brown, who was sent off here in November. But he scores for the second week running, and Celtic have the breakthrough at Pataudry.